Whenever my brother and I came home late for dinner, our dad would tell us about the hide-behinds. These creatures, he would say, would follow hikers as they walked through the woods. At the crack of a branch, you would turn around, but there would be nothing. Then out of the corner of your eye, you might see a dark shape sprint behind a tree. Soon your paranoia escalates and you're running through the woods, but there's no escape, he would say. The hide behind would follow you until your heart stopped from the fright. And I believed him, the child that I was. For a while, I would never stay in the wood for too long or too late, and I was never late for dinner. But I soon grew out of such fantasies. There were other real dangers of the woods to fear. Getting lost or preyed upon by bears, and the hide behind seemed so immature now. Yet, every now and then I would linger in the woods after twilight, a dark shape darting behind a tree would catch my eye. And for an instant, my heart would skip a beat, but I dismissed them as deer or simply paranoia. I didn't want to believe. I should have listened to my instincts. There's a reason that people have an innate fear of the woods. There's a reason that we feel like something is following us when we hike home after dark. Like my childhood nightmares come to life, I found myself lost in the woods one day as the sun went down. I walked as fast as I could through the thick woods, trying to get my bearings. Hmm, no, that's the wrong way. I doubled back, just in time to catch a glimpse of something behind a tree. Perhaps that was the right way after all. I turn around and continue. Faster. I look back, and there it is again, but this time, he lingers in the open for a while before disappearing behind the trees. Now I'm running. My heart races the thorns tearing at my legs. I need to go faster. I need to go on. But my legs won't run any further. So I crawl. I crawl through the thickets until my hands were bloody and raw. And when I could go no further, I prayed for it to all be over. I don't know how I survived that night, what willpower kept me going. But somehow, I evaded those terrible creatures until sunrise and found my way back to civilization. It was a while before I went into the woods again. Have you been out in the woods and sensed a presence following you, only to turn around and see nothing there? Perhaps you were being stalked by the infamous hide behind. For almost a century, this creature has been frightening people who explore the woods. But what exactly is it, or does it exist in reality? The hide behind is known for how it stalks and kills its prey. It is said to be more active at night time, following victims for miles before attacking. Its victims are usually alone or in small groups in the woods. Whenever they have their backs turned, the hide behind sneaks toward them. If the victim turns around, the hide behind conceals itself behind trees or shrubs. Once the hide behind reaches its victim, it will attack. Instantaneously disemboweling them and then feasting on the raw meat. Sometimes the hide behind will drag the body of its victim back to its lair to finish feeding. Attacks are almost always deadly and some victims are said to die of fright alone. Early colonial loggers in North America knew three things. First, the ancient primordial forests of the New World were creepy. Second, they kept hearing footsteps behind their own, and when they turned, nothing was there. And third, a lot of loggers went missing. As a result, 
They began to worry that something with prenatural quickness and the ability to hide behind the skinniest sapling was stalking and killing them. And the legend of the hide behind was born. The hide behind, a creature from American folklore, is shrouded in mystery and is regarded as a terrifying creature. It is believed to hunt humans who venture into the woods at night and was blamed for the vanishing of the colonial loggers who didn't make it back to camp. Despite the fact that no one has ever seen it, early records describe the hide behind as a sizable and strong animal. The hide behind derives its name from its knack of concealing itself. Whenever someone tries to look at it directly, the creature rapidly ducks behind either the observer or a nearby object to remain out of sight. The hide behind takes advantage of this ability to stalk humans without being detected and to launch sudden assaults. After killing its prey, the hide behind carries the victim back to its hideout to be devoured. The hide behind is a creature of American folklore that emerged in the 19th century, primarily within lumber communities in North America, and was particularly feared by lumberjacks. During this time, lumberjacks had numerous concerns while on the job, such as physical injuries, dangerous wildlife, fallen trees, and the hide behind. Legend has it that the creature was named after its hunting tactic. It would hide behind its prey. The hide behind would lurk behind trees in the forest and stealthily stalk its prey while blending in with the surrounding environment. The hide behind is frightening mainly because it is so unknown. Many fear the hide behind, particularly superstitious lumberers, and trappers, and woodsmen. But there is little consensus as to what the hide behind actually is. Some say it is a powerful predatory animal, not unlike a bear or a large wolf, but that it walks erect and is unusually tall, thin, flexible, allowing it to take the shape of any cover no matter how scant. Others say it is a spiritual guardian of the forest, enraged by the trespasses of mortal intruders and their careless exploitation of the local resources. Some say it is an incarnation of the logging camp's paranoia, feeding on their fear. The hide behind is either very cautious or very selective when it comes to attacking victims. For every missing person attributed to it, there are 10 more with a story about being followed by something that they could not see, who successfully fled the woods. Perhaps it intentionally disturbs its victims with unsettled footsteps in order to panic them and wear them down. Maybe it only harms those who are disrespectful to its forest and considers its invisible presence warning enough. Or perhaps the creature is deaf and doesn't understand why its prey always seems to know it is there. Deep in the wild northern forests that span between America and Canada, there are said to be dangerous creatures known as the hide-behinds that hunger for human prey. Loggers working in the area would describe them as ferocious animals that stood over six feet tall. But they were so slender that they could slip behind tree trunks as small as 10 inches in diameter. It was said that their bodies were covered with thick black pelts of long hair and they had long curved tails. These fearsome beasts were said to move so swiftly that it was impossible to tell if they were coming or going. And any attempt to look at them was made impossible, as they would quickly hide behind a tree at first sign of human glance. 
How loggers were able to describe the appearance of these cryptids when they always moved too fast or hid from sight has never been offered explanation. But they could also be heard making fiendish howls and demonic laughter. Some even believed that they laughed as they disemboweled their prey with long claws that were said to do the job with a single swipe. Urban legends say the hide behind's favorite snack is human intestines, and they prefer their victims alive while devouring them. How did loggers protect themselves from these unidentifiable creatures? Alcohol. Obviously. Legends say the hide-behinds are so repulsed by alcohol that they will even avoid people who have merely consumed it. Skeptics say this was a thinly veiled excuse for woodsmen to drink on the job or to explain their lack of productivity. This northern wilderness was rumored to be home to many cryptids and other fearsome things that could waylay pioneers and explorers, sometimes being blamed for their disappearances. Due to similarly large and hairy demeanors, as well as overlapping habitats, hide-behinds and Bigfoot sightings were easily conflated, which caused some to believe reported Bigfoot attacks could be misidentified hide-behinds. A highly dangerous animal, but owing to its intense aversion to the odor of alcohol, never known to attack an inebriate. One bottle of Uno beer has been proven to be a complete safeguard, even in thickly infested country. Its marvelously quick, stealthy gait makes it possible for him to stay constantly behind his prey. No matter how quickly the suspicious victim may spin about in the hope of glimpsing the marauder, the beast can go seven years without eating. In addition to alcohol, fire has also been identified as a tool to ward off the hide behind. Maintaining a sizable bonfire throughout the night serves as an effective method to keep the creature at bay and prevent it from approaching the campsite. The hide behind is known to produce eerie and unusual sounds that are frequently heard near camping areas during the late hours of the night. This creature is symbolic of the unease that often accompanies being in a natural and unfamiliar environment, eliciting feelings of fear and danger stemming from the unknown. Surviving an attack by the hide behind was thought to be possible only for a witch or wizard. The hide behind came into existence as an unintended consequence of Phineas Fletcher's illegal activities. He tried to bring a traffic demiguise into America to make invisibility cloaks. But the demiguise escaped from the ship and bred with a stowaway gold. The resulting offspring of this crossbreeding fled into the Massachusetts forest. The hide behind. The fear of unintentional deaths, missing men, and betrayed friends may have been allayed in logging camps by this creature. These tragic incidents raise the question if hide behind exists in real life. It's actually an interesting point to make because it sort of relates to information about the missing 411 phenomenon which, in general, has to do with people going missing in the woods and is something that we might look into in the future. The creature was said to be a carnivorous predator that would stalk around the logging camps, waiting for an opportunity to snatch and devour its prey. It is conceivable that this creature was invented to help loggers deal with the fear of losing their colleagues to accidents or other unknown causes. It might also be a strategy for dealing with enigmatic deaths and disappearances of other lumberjacks. There's a reason people have an innate fear of the woods. These creatures, these incarnations of paranoia, have haunted man for as long as he's walked in the woods. 
My advice to anyone in the woods after dark, don't look behind you. 